Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Welcome to my crafty corner. Uh, today I'm going to be making a 6x6 uh, card with a floating panel. Yeah, a floating panel. I did see this somewhere. Unfortunately, I haven't wrote it down. Because I'm silly. Anyway, first of all, I'll show you this so I don't lose it. Um, it's a birthday wishes. I had a die set. And I just cut that out. I've just noticed that a little bit hasn't come out of there. And I realise now I should have done it on double-sided sticky paper. But it doesn't matter. We've done it now. Too late. So I've got a 6x6 six six card blank. And I've got some pink um, non-shedding glitter paper, which is five and, is it a five and a half? Let me move that off, five and, five and three quarters by five and three quarters. Then a white piece, which is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I have got... A piece of acetate, do that, which I have cut four by four and a quarter. Now I've done it four and a quarter for a reason because I want to stick the strips that I've got here, which are four and a half, on so that they slightly overlap. And then I'm going to get my trimmer and cut it down to four by four. So that's what I intend to do anyway. And the strips I've cut off are um, half an inch. Yep, yeah, half an inch wide by four and a half inches long. And they're just from a paper pad that I had some scraps. And I've got some uh, foam, foam strips. So let's put this bit together first. I'll just put the acetate on there so I can see it. <laughs> that doesn't fill me with confidence when I say that so I can see it because I'll probably lose it hopefully not hopefully not hopefully this is going to turn out I just saw it on Pinterest I think it was I think I should, I keep forgetting to write these things down, it's not fair. I'll have a look and I'll put it in the title if I find out who um, I saw it, who did it before me that I saw it, because it's not fair on them, they've done the work and I'm copying it, or not, I'm just putting my sort of take on it. I have got it somewhere because it was on a video and I had to write all the dimensions there. Anyway, we shall see what we shall see. I'll put it in the title. Promise. I'll just set this up nicely. we have that way or that way which way should we have we'll have this way oh excuse me where did that come from okay so now i'm going to put these the double-sided sheets they were scrap the the just picked up the pad and they all fell out so i used those and I'm going to stick them on with double-sided tape. I have already put the double-sided tape on the back so that you don't have to watch me doing that because the life's worth a living not, not watching somebody sticking double-sided tape on. Right. So let me just double-check. I've put my ruler down there. And that's the four. Yeah, that's the four. So the four and a quarter. You could put it right up against the edge if I can manage that. Yeah, 
I will. And right up against <laughs> the top. Have I managed to do that correctly? I have. Goodness me. I think we'll do the bottom. Do the top and the bottom. First. Let's pull in the tape off as well. Put it right up against the edge. It doesn't really matter if you've got, if you miss it a bit or you've got a little bit of the acetate at the bottom. Right now, pop that there, just space it out. Up there. I shall alter my spacing as I go. Let's put this one on. And we will leave a little bit of a gap. That's not straight that is in fact what if I put it on I could see it better on the black but just put it on the mat why didn't you think of that Lynn I should have tapped it I was going to do that up there wasn't I now that I've got them off Walkie walkie tibble. Oh, come on. Pop, oh, hang on. Do it this way around then, it might be easier. Let's do this one. Doesn't matter what paper you do with, I just thought I'd use up because I've had that um, glitter paper since last year in the uh, hobby craft sale. I haven't done that right on the edge. Oh, oh well. I'll have to do now. Perfect, apart from that one, which I didn't butt up against the edge. It's always something. I could cut it down a little bit. Oop, sticking to the desk, to the mat. Might just cut a slither off that side and make it a little bit smaller than 4x4. Four into my fingers right okay now I think I'll use my guillotine and we'll just take a smidgen that's a technical term this there 
so that it looks a bit better, hopefully. Yes. Four inches. Turn it that way up, Lynn. Four inches. Could use that for something else if you wanted, but I'm not that desperate. You could put it inside the card, but I'm not going to put that there. Okay, now the next bit is to get my strips. Are they too long? Oh, they are slightly long. Can you hear my stomach? I don't know why it's making these noises. But it is, and I'm not hungry. Okay, I'm going to put two of these little strips on each bit. On each piece of card. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Listen to it. Go away. I'm sorry this is a bit like paint drying. I didn't have any thicker. Uh, well, I did have thicker, but it was too, as in wider, too wide, I'm afraid. In fact, why don't I just put them on together? Do you know that would have been using your brain, wouldn't it, then? It would. It would have been using your brain. <gasps> oh, dear. And it's a lot quicker. Last two. Come on. Come on. Stop sticking on my finger. There we go. The last one. Boink. So that's that. Take the backing off. If indeed it will come off. You have bent up. You need to go down there. I feel like you. Oh. Stuck to me nail. Oh, God. Oh, anybody else have these problems, eh? Oop. There we go. Hopefully move it a little bit if I need to. We've put all this and the double sided tape on because acetate and glue don't really go together very well. Not really. We can have it that way or that way, which way we're having the card, that way. And I'm just going to pop that. I'm hoping that's straight. Let me look. Yes, that looks like it. There we go. That's the floating panel. 
And then I've just put the happy birthday, my birthday wishes. Good job I didn't put wishes first. Goodness me, that would have been a bit of a mistake, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to put some glue on the back of my hand. And just dab it in. I usually do this with my pokey tool. Birthday. And still damp, so that's good. Shut up, stomach. Birthday, about the same amount of space from the end as that one. Birthday wishes. There you go. You can bling it up as much as you like or leave it like that. It's a floating panel card. And I will put it in the description who it was by that I initially saw it. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up to like it and please subscribe if you haven't already i get lots of views but not as many subscribers <laughs> um obviously you don't have to if you don't want to um and i'll see you next time take care of yourself and your loved ones bye